Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. In uh, today's video, we're going to be rescaping this tank. So it's been this way for a little while. Um, I just need a refresh, really. At the moment, we've got autos, coolie loaches, some snails. Uh, pea puffers have already moved into another tank over here. But yeah, we'll get everything out, get it all stripped back, and start again with something new. So what my plan is is to get some kind of river themed or inspired tank in here. First of all, we need to get rid of all the inhabitants from this tank, get it stripped down, get it back to bare. I want to give it a good clean before I start to back up again. I'm gonna keep the filter on it, um, which you can't actually see. It's one of these little hang on back filters. It's ready, fully cycled, ready to go, so I should be able to put fish in straight away once it is ready. Not that I know which fish I'm gonna put in there yet. Um, I might put the same fish back in, but for the moment I'm going to relocate the fish in to dis distribute them around my other tanks and go on with it. Also, if you can see, my new shirt arrived from my merch store. Check it out up here or up here or wherever I stick the card. Um, this is one of the new designs that I think came out quite well. Anyway, let's go on with it. Drained down, cleaned up. Um, I've left the sand in as it is, but I've kind of piled it up towards the front. In terms of substrate, what we're going to have is the back half is going to be dirtied. I'm going to use a mixture of potting soil and I've got various things left over, so I have a bag of Eco Complete and some other aquatic compost. I'm going to mix all that together, put that towards the back half, uh, and then cover that with the sand, hopefully, and get some of the stones in. So we shall do that now. In terms of uh, potting compost, is something that's really good. A lot of people seem to be really scared of it. You do get some which have extra things in it, like whether it's manure or extra phosphates, nitrates, things like that. It tends to be the cheapest thing you can get your hands on will have none of that in it. But check the back, make sure you're not adding too much in there. And don't be too scared if you're going to cap it anyway. It's good if you're using a tank that you're not going to change a lot. So I'm hoping that this will be something that I'll use for a while. And if I do change it in the future, just rip it all out and start again. So let's get that added. So now I'm going to, this is mainly going to be stones um, that form the, the base here or the aquascape elements of this. These are the ones, if you've seen my previous video, I collected these from my local river. I've had them in a bucket of water for a while soaking. I've given them a good scrub. You don't need to boil your rocks to clean them and if you do think that then you're a special kind of silly. Uh, so what we're going to go for is kind of some centrepiece rocks. I've got some some larger ones which I think will work well. I'm just going to play around with them for a while until I get something I like. And there we have it, the camera cut out because my memory card filled up. 
but basically I've just been messing around moving things, tinkering here and there. I've got all the wood uh, and the rocks in. These are the rocks that I collected locally. It's the bits of wood that I've already had. Uh, it's time for planting really. Um, I'm kind of restricted to the plants that I've already got, so I'm going to beg and borrow from some of my other tanks to fill this. It's not really going to be a biotope by any description, because the plants I've got come from whole different kinds of areas across the world. Um, I'm just trying to get something that kind of looks nice, grassy, um, mossy, that kind of thing. That's what I'm going for. Something that you might actually, a, a, a quick glance might mistake for something that you'd see under a river possibly. Uh, ideally I'd like to get some valves and get something right up the back nice and strong and um, nice and tall but I might spot that out for some sissy flora or something like that that I've got a bit of an abundance of but we'll see how we got on um, it looks a right state at the moment but bear with me I'm crossing my fingers that it's actually going to work out in the end I'm under no illusions that this won't actually mix in the sand and the the other types of substrates of the eco complete and the stuff that it will start to mix and move around. I've tried to create a dam as much as possible down here with the stones, but it's going to happen, and I think that will add to the effect because rivers aren't perfect. So hopefully, we'll get something that looks quite good. So, on to planting then. I've got myself my trusty aquascaping tweezers. Um, this isn't the dry start method, really, but I am going to plant as much as I can now while I don't have the water in it just to make sure I get it in there and get it rooted properly and um, so we'll see how we get on. So that's what we've got before we get ready to fill. Um, so next job is fill it up, see what it looks like. I might add some more plants onto this side. These plants should rise up as the water rises and make it fill out a bit. And hopefully get something that looks half decent. There we go, all filled up, a bit cool, I'll leave it to warm up overnight and let it settle and clear properly. Um, it doesn't really look like a riverbed, but these things always go one way or the other. I didn't really go at it with a plan, so I can't expect it to stay exactly the same. But anyway, we shall come back tomorrow, we'll have a look at it once it's all warmed up, and think about what fish we want to put in here, and have a look at it properly then. Remember, if you want your t-shirts, check them out now. So here we are the next day, yes I'm still wearing the same clothes, just for the video mind, I'm not that stinky. Um, I've moved some fish into there, obviously with the lockdown going on I can't get the fish I really want. What I was thinking or what I had in mind for this tank was hillstream loaches, um, some white clouds. Now I have taken some of my, white, my golden white cloud mountain minnows from the fish room and put them into the tank. Um, but I think the, the, the regular ones would possibly look better in there because they remind me of trout, which reminds me of river fish, which reminds me of rivers, which is kind of what I was originally going for with this tank. But nonetheless, 
I'm kind of happy with my substitutions in there. I probably will come back to this once we can get access to fish shops and buy more stock and things like that. But for now, I'm kind of happy with that. So I'll let you have a little look at it. And thank you all for watching so far. And as always, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. It really helps. And you'll be notified when there's new videos coming out and you won't miss anything. But until then, enjoy this. And thank you very much. Bye. There we go, all filled up, a bit cold, a bit cool, I'll leave it. Don't be broken.